Hello, Mauna Loa fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is My Sans 3 Minutes Max. In the last episode, we started to answer a question asked by Naveen about well, what if we don't find evidence? When do we stop looking? And uh, I was setting the, the uh, uh, stage for a case that uh, I'm currently working on. A uh, lady alleges that uh, someone has compromised her computer with something called Computrace A. Uh, that's a name given to this by ESET. And this is a UEFI compromise, a hardware compromise, that does a number of things, including rewriting the BIOS and uh, to give uh, the adversary uh, access to the computer. And the reason she believes this happened is because an ESET scan said it happened. So she brings the computer and she says there's also some issues with Zoom, having problems with Zoom. So we look at the computer. Now, how do you approach this and when do you know when to stop looking? Well, we could look for all of these different hack opportunities, but the fact of the matter is if we know, in this case, what the, what the malicious software is supposed to be, we can research it and see what changes it's supposed to make. What are the indicators of compromise? Evil can hide, but it must run. This is not the movies where you clickety-clack and things happen in a vacuum. So with a bit of research, we find out what files get adjusted, what files get changed, added, deleted, and in some cases, there's this one little file that just has a few bytes of hex that change slightly. So if we go to these very few, very finite, we're talking five or six artifacts, and we look for them. If we don't find any of these artifacts, well, it isn't there because it's got to run. It specifically drops a very well-known registry key that has to be there for the malware to, to run. And so you go to the registry, that key is not there. If the key is not there, at the very least, this compromise is not uh, running. However, when we do further research, we determine that this specific make and model of computer, along with a number of others, but in this case, it's a uh, Toshiba uh, Portage, we find out that this model number specifically had software called Lojack installed on it, which is a, a well-known software to help trace a computer if it gets stolen. And what we're finding out in this case is that ESET commonly provides a false positive. It doesn't mean we don't look because we know about the false positive, but we verify that it is a false positive. Next episode, I'm going to talk to you about what we did with all of the Zoom issues she was having. But in the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.